All right, what's up everybody? It's the Rap Throwback. Got Soundwave in the house right now. We're about to do a retro reveal on this uh, Isham Dead Flowers remastered. I mean, this technically isn't retro, but the album is. So this dropped uh, earlier, well, 2021, I guess. So shit, it's crazy. Um, but this is Dead Flowers remastered. Um, Got this off of Isham's website. I was pleasantly surprised when this was uh, up there to be remastered. But uh, let's get this bad boy opened up. Boom, there we go. We got the CD and the insert. Uh, right out of the gate, I noticed that the CD is a different color. Um, yeah, so we got blue. The old one was red. Mm. But uh, yeah, that's pretty sweet, man. Oh yeah. Take a look at this insert. Go ahead. All right, so let's open this bad boy up. First thing we got is Esham 1996 here. <laughs> got a little bit of a blurb here that we'll get back to here in a sec. Oh, and then we have Esham 2021. Sporting some glasses. Looks like he's got a skull on those glasses. Dope. Oh uh, yeah, that is pretty sweet. And uh looks like he is Is this the remastered collection? Yes it yeah. is. So uh more classics remastered, closed casket. Man, that'd be a good one to check out. Oh dog. Um Blooming Words from Hell, Kill the Fetus, and I'm not exactly sure what the one in the upper right is. Do you remember? Uh Isham Is it the singles? Was it like the EPs? Yeah, I think it's the EPs of uh, Helter Skelter. And um, is it Maggot Brain Theory? I'm Man, not 100% sure. Fuck, I forgot. Damn. It's all good. Flip this guy over here. Uh, got the little blurb on the back. The mind is a seed, and knowledge of self helps that seed grow. Many of us at this day and age are unable to let that seed bloom into a flower because we are mentally dead, trapped in a field of weeds and dirt. Some are withering away mentally, unable to plant our roots in good soil. Some of us smoke dead flowers to escape the planet and see the world through innocent eyes again. Some of us are thorns and our only purpose is to stick people. Some of us are poison ivy, and we are no good to anyone who comes in contact with us. Whatever the case may be, your mind is a seed, and, they, and it needs to grow. So don't be a dead flower. I don't remember if that was in the uh, original booklet. It was. Damn. That's it was, uh, I think it was on, um, like, I think Isham was in the back of it doing something, like in a blurry photo. Nice. And then that was on the front i'll uh dig up some comparison photos we'll pop them up here on the video and then uh we'll see oh yeah so let's see let's flip it back over he's got another blurb here so Ooh. this is brand new yeah it was the early 90s there was no youtube or spotify none of the instant gratification shit we have now no one had the internet the only place to hear new hip-hop was on local radio unless you lived in detroit Stations weren't even playing hip-hop or rap. One actually advertised itself as the station that plays no rap. And <laughs> forget local artists. If it wasn't mainstream, they weren't playing it. Not mine, not anybody's. Fuck the radio. You probably remember me writing that in the first Dead Flowers insert. I was working on a new formula. After some extensive research in strip clubs around Detroit, nice. I decided to make an album just for the strippers. It was a new lane... No one else was doing it. Hey, man, that's pretty sweet. He's got some good stripper songs on there, too. Hell yeah. When I was making that record, I felt like I was competing against Tupac, Biggie, Nas, Jay-Z. I was contending for the number one spot, because that's how I roll. Lord Magi, Chaos from Chaos and Maestro, produced four tracks on the album. Man, Magi had game. He was organized and disciplined and showed me a few things on the MPC that I keep in my arsenal to this day. Hell yeah, man, that's dope. 
Soaking up game from uh, Lord Magi there. Oh, yeah. Dead Flowers marked a turning point for the Detroit rap scene. It was the first local hip-hop album to make it big. It was on the Billboard charts for six weeks and peaked at number 38. It did not get any radio play. 25 years later, I can't believe I said some of the shit I said, <laughs> but from a creative standpoint, this album has aged like fine wine. So please sit back and enjoy the exotic masterpiece called Dead Flowers. My, home, my homage to the female anatomy. Hmm. Fuck yeah, man. I think he kind of, uh, he nailed it on that little insert, you know? Like, I like how he talked about uh, competing with the greats. Yeah, he, um, he Because was. when we've heard this album for the first time, it fucking blew our minds. Dude, it was 1996. Yeah. Everybody had to be on top. Uh, yeah, and talking about the year that this dropped, I mean, rap was, I mean, probably one of the hardest years to compete with anybody, man. Mm-hmm. But, uh, I mean, crazy. he dropped a gem on us. Uh, fucking great album filled with classics. Um, production was top-notch. The mastering was top-notch. Lyrics top-notch. Lyrics is delivery. Jeez. Yeah. It was fucking and insane. some of the shit he said was unbelievable. But... <laughs> <laughs> hey, that was what made it fun, man. Yeah, That's exactly. Isham, Isham. And to be able to remaster it, thank you, Isham. Fucking oh, wonderful yeah. CD, man. It's dope. But uh, let's take a look at the back here. Hmm. So I believe the back is different as well. Yeah, it's a different color. So pretty sweet, man. Rest in peace, Razok. Yeah. Pretty cool. Lord Magi getting his props down here. Nice. Can't forget about Zella Williams. No. Much props to her for her singing on here, and she did some good shit on Bruce Wayne, too. Oh, yeah. So there you have it, folks. Dead Dope. Flowers Remastered. Boom. Good shit, man. Check it out, acidrap.com, and get it if you ain't got it, or just check it out on Spotify, man. It's a classic record. Hell yeah. Check us out on uh, rapthrowback.com ourselves. S subscribe to the channel. Get to our podcast. And, uh, hey, we'll be seeing you, man. Peace. Peace.